Hello, this is Golden Oratero, and we are talking about what makes you sexy, three pals to choose from. Let's get into it. Take as long as you need to choose the pals, or you can choose more than one pal. Hey, Power One, we're going to talk about what makes you sexy as fuck, right? We're going to talk about what makes you so sexy, Power One. If you wear eyeliner, like black, dark, heavy eyeliner, it makes you look very dark, but in a sexy way. Like a, like a, your sexiness has a darkness to it, Okay. And when I say darkness, like, you know how the dark kind of pulls you in, pulls light in? It's like you have a silent sexiness to you. Like, you don't have to do much, say much, talk much. You can just walk in a room and people will automatically think that you're sexy. And it's your eyes. If you don't wear, like, um, black eyeliner, it can be, like... It's just, you could have, like, a, a slantness of your eyes. Like, your eyes can be, like, a slanted shape or an almond shape okay and it's the shape or the the striking look that you have your eyes have a striking look or it's like when you look at people they feel like you're looking into their soul it's something about your your eyes like people can people can easily get lost into your eyes basically i am trying a new mic y'all i hope this mic works out <laughs> Because I got tired of the other mic that I have. But hey, you got to start somewhere, right? You got to start somewhere. Yeah, it's like you have a silent attitude. Like, people can tell you have a little bit of a, a feisty attitude without really saying much. And it's like you are really in control of your emotions. You might have a very cool, calm, collected look about you. It seems like you come into a room unbothered. You have a very un unbothered demeanor. And that makes you really like, man, she, she seems really cool or he seems really cool to hang out with. They're just so sexy. They don't, like, they don't let other people get under their skin. Yeah. Um, you might like to wear clothes that has like a, a lace material. People think that's sexy on you. It doesn't have to be lingerie per se, but you might like to have like sleeves that's made out of lace or maybe the collar of your, sh your shirt. It's, there's something about lace on your clothing. You, you wear it very well, okay? If you wear eye contacts that change the color of your eyes, that makes you look sexy. Um, you choose the right eye color contact for your skin complexion, for your face shape. Your, the eye color contest that you wear, it just complements you very well. And it makes you look very sexy, okay? It's also how you dress as well. <laughs> it's like you have very flirtatious eyes. I keep going back to your eyes. And here, like, in this, in this car right here, she has a lot of heavy make makeup around the eyes, Okay. You decorate your eyes very well. Like you might like to, you know, use eyeshadows, eyeliners, um, you know, color, different color eye contacts. You might like to like put on like body glitter or something like that. You, if you don't like to, if you don't like to wear dark clothing a lot, because that's what I first gotten. Um, you could have a natural, it's, it's weird because like I'm seeing dark clothing, but I see that someone's skin is glowing though. You have a very glowing skin, but very dark attire to you, if that makes any sense. It's honestly like your, your looks, like your, your behind, you know, your, your breasts. It's just, you have a very... You may have a very um, dominatrix look to you, okay? Like, <laughs> um, it's hard to explain, but, like, you like to wear a lot of black, leather, okay? And you just have a very bold look to you. You might like to wear, like, red lipstick. 
your make your makeup is what makes you look sexy. If you don't wear makeup, it's just your natural glow of your skin makes you look uh it, it looks very really healthy, you know. <laughs> you don't really have wrinkles on your skin, it's just you have very nice skin. Let me let me know if you guys can hear me well with this mic. I hope this is working. <laughs> okay. There's like a duality to you because when people first look at you, Pal One, you seem very um, strong, dominant, um, alpha, um, feisty. Maybe you don't talk much, say much. You don't really. You possibly don't even acknowledge much people when you walk in a room. You just kind of have tunnel vision and you kind of keep to yourself. When I say tunnel vision, like you just don't really acknowledge other people. You just focus on why you're in the room. Like if you were visiting friends in that room, right? You only go towards your friends. You don't acknowledge other people as you're walking towards your friends type of thing. Um, but it's like when people start talking to you and get to know you, you're actually more bubbly and more light than what you appear to be. Um... <laughs> So you appear dark and heavy, but when people kind of get to know you, you kind of surprise them with this lightness, this this bubbly, quirky attitude, and people are like, whoa, I did not expect that from Pile 1, <laughs> you know? Like happy-go-lucky type of thing. Oh, sexuality came out. Uh, you can be a Scorpio... Okay, you might have the stereotypical characteristics of Scorpio, like just very sexy. Um, you're comfortable when it comes to talking about sex. You don't shy away from the conversation of sex. You don't mind even initiating sex, possibly, when you are talking to someone that you find um, very um, attractive. I am channeling, so I am um, channeling tingling sensations um, below the belt. So you tend to sexually arouse people um, just by having you in their presence. You have a very strong sexual aura. Um, this might even take people by surprise. Even women who might, if you're, you might even take the same sex. Let me say that. You might even take the same sex by surprise. Like, why do I feel so attracted to power one right now? I, I don't usually, I'm not usually attracted to the same sex, but power one is just, is very, mm, you know, very attractive. <laughs> you might attract all types of gender affiliation, sexual, sexual orientations. You might consider yourself pansexual or you might have people question their own sexuality, okay? Yeah, fluidity, yeah. Fluidity, uh, <laughs> fluidity. <laughs> Hold on. Fluidity, fluidity. You know, like water is fluid, fluidity. We have Janelle Monet, Okay. Janelle Monae, you know, for years, you know, before she really came out, a lot of people suspected of her sexuality not being um, straight. People was like, oh, Janelle Monae, she, she's bi, she's pan, she this, she's that. And for many years, she did not say. She did not confirm <laughs> who she was. She just said, I am what I am, basically. Um... And it's interesting because I've been listening to a song that I really love by her. And it's called Float. Oh my God, I love that song. But she says, people say I'm by. Yeah, I'm by another coast. You know? So she still kind of jokes about it. Like, well, I'm not really going to confirm. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> you know, like it is what it is. But you can just tell how she, how she acts and walks. Like her sexuality is quite fluid. How she dresses and everything like that. Um, and... I think maybe a lot of people, when they meet you, they kind of suspect, like, huh, I wonder if she likes both sex. If she does like both sex, it's kind of hot, you know? Like, I wonder if she would kiss a girl, too, you know, if you're a female. Um, so so people wonder what it would be like. I think men, <laughs> men kind of wonder what it would be like if, if you kind of added another female in the bedroom. Like, would you be receptive to that? Would you also be sexually aroused to a woman like he would would y'all all three enjoy the moment basically you have guys kind of like very curious about your sexuality and how they can basically 
um, benefit from that. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, power. Um, you might speak with passion. Like, when you speak about something, this is so, Sister Soldier. Sister Soldier. <laughs> Sister Soldier, okay? And um, when you speak, you speak with so much passion and so much empathy. It's like when you when you speak to people, it's like people can feel that you understand what they're at in life. You understand them. You understand where they come from. And not only do you kind of like speak in a way that people can understand you and they can feel understood by you, you speak in a way with so much passion and power that it, it's a turn on, okay? So people really find that sexy, okay? You might have, you might speak in a very philosophic way. Like you, you might like to speak about uh, philosophy. You might like to speak about politics and and governmental powers. You might like to talk about power in general. And your your words are very powerful. So you might make people feel very empowered when you speak to them. So people feel like that's really sexy on how your words can empower them. You might know how to use your words in a way that's you can speak in an eloquent way or you can speak in a very persuasive way. Um, your words can turn people on, especially who like to talk dirty to them. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, something about your words that just, I heard, oh, okay, I just heard, it's how you sound on the phone to them. When you speak on the phone, okay, you turn people on, it's your voice. You might have a really nice bedroom voice, okay? Mm, okay. One. Mm. You have knowledge, yeah, and pride. Yeah, and I think it's also your confidence. You seem very self-assured. You seem very, I know who I am, I know what I want, and I will not expect or accept less. And you speak facts. Like, you might speak in a very factual way. You might like to add, like, percentages or data into your arguments. You might um, have a bachelor's, master's, or doctorate's degree. This is a very, I, I sense like a, a heavily educated person here um, through this energy. Um, even though you might not went through a higher ed or, you know, higher institution, it seems like you study, though. You, you keep up to date with certain things that happen around the world. You tend to know what's really actually happening around the world. You tend to have a, a mind of your own. and You don't let outside influences dictate how you should think. You come up with information from maybe unexpected sources. Right, maybe a lot of people, they get the information from the news, from their news feeds, um, from um, their social media feeds, but you might get information from books, textbooks, um, elders. Elders have a lot of information, man. You got, you got to talk to your elders because they can teach you so much. Okay, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, um, unforgotten knowledge out there. And a lot of elders have, you know, they have that knowledge in them. And I, listen, I heavily recommend, especially if you're on that spiritual route, talk to elders. <laughs> Just Talk to your elders because they have so much to say and you can learn from so much. And you might actually gravitate more towards, you know, older people. So you might have a, a very mature way about you, okay? And you you might, and I also get that, I think people can get really lost in your, in your conversations. Not lost in a way like they don't understand what you're saying. Or well, maybe people do who cannot be on your level intellectually. But I just feel like people can talk to you for hours and get lost in time. And they look at their clock like, oh my God, I spoke to Powell for three hours. It didn't even feel like it because I enjoyed the conversation so much. People love your conversation, okay? And some people, they want to take the conversation to the bedroom. And that's what I'm getting as well. <laughs> All right. <laughs> One more card and I have to go, Okay. And you're just speaking all this intellect, and you have this nice bedroom voice, and it's just a turn on. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You have order. I think you take no shit, pal. Three. 
And a lot of people know that they have to treat you with respect. Okay? It's just your attitude. Like, man, I can't help but treat Pat one with respect. It's like, with you two, it's like, people know not to get on your bad side because once they get on your bad side, that's it. You you will drop them. Like, like you don't know who they are anymore. And you will move on in life, basically. But, Pal one thank you guys so much for being present here. This is it. Uh, subscribe, join the family. If you're not part of the family yet, join us. Join us. Like this video. Comment below what you think. Did it resonate? Did it sound like you? Okay. I'll see you guys later. Bye. And I am open for personal readings. Information is going to be in the description box. Bye. Okay, pal two, thank you for being here. Click that subscribe button, support your girl. Comment below what you think, uh, did it resonate? And also like this video. Yes, I am open for personal readings. If you want that information, that information is gonna be in the description box. Let's get into it. Uh -huh. All right, so pal <laughs> two, go oh, ahead and take a breath. I was like saying all that without even breathing. I don't know why, but anyway. Okay, I think you take people's breath away. Your beauty take people's breath away. People might get kind of nervous around you, kind of like, kind of fumble or drop things around you because like you're so strikingly beautiful, okay? Some people might kind of have a lump in their throat. They might not know like how to speak to you. You might even give people butterflies in their stomach. I think, honestly, Paul, too, I'm channeling a crush that you might have or a couple of crushes that you might have. I think someone, pal too, for someone out there, somebody got a crush on you. Okay, or you could be in love, okay? You could be in love or someone could be in love with you, okay? You have that type of personality that maybe a lot of people tend to fall for you, okay? Uh, fall over heels for you, okay? You have Beyonce love, okay? Can you see? There you go. And we have fluidity. <laughs> say it fluidity yeah fluidity okay being, being fluid okay like sexually fluid okay you could be in the lgbtqia community okay don't have to be you could be coming from power one you might have a beautiful voice like you you're, could be you could be able you can have a nice singing voice, okay? You, you can sing. There's a musical touch about you. You can either play an instrument really well or you can sing very well or both. You have a beautiful singing voice. People find that sexy about you. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, for some of y'all, what makes you... <laughs> Okay, um, wow, okay, how much, how am I going to say this without, without having my, um, video taken down? Um, okay, so, okay, people love the way you moan. I'm just going to say it like that. People love the way you moan, um, it, it, and it can be just like when you eat something really good, you know how some people kind of moan like, mm, like, this tastes really good. It's something about that moan, when you taste really good food or like when they rub your back and it feels good it's something about that <laughs> um yeah i don't know it just came up okay anyways if you if you like to change your wigs out try out different wigs people love how you can switch up your style okay you might have a short blonde wig one day and then you might have a very long 24 inch weave wavy wavy uh, wig um, the next day. Um, someone likes that about you, how you can switch your your style up, how you can just um, even switch up like your makeup. Okay, if you wear makeup, you might have the natural look one day and then you might have the hella beat <laughs> makeup look the next day. Okay, like all, like just full on makeup one day and just like the minimum, maybe just clear lip gloss the next day or something. Okay. They just love how you can switch it up, okay? Your style up. It's like people never get bored around you because you have a lot of, you have like a metamorphosis, like a constant metamorphosis about you, okay?
Let me pow to sexy. We have mood. Yeah, if you have short hair, it, it looks really good on you. Especially if you like to dye it all types of colors. Okay? Like, I'm, I'm seeing like a buzz cut, but sometimes you color it. Yeah, I think some of y'all could have came from Power One. You have innovation. Yeah, you might have like a, a style that no one can't really duplicate or replicate. Like you have your own sense of style. If you don't like go on Fashion Nova and buy the same dress. Or if you buy the same dress that a lot of people are getting, you style it in a way that no one has ever styled it before. You have a very innovative way of style. Innovative style, innovative fashion, okay? You have peace. I think people love your peaceful spirit. I think people can relax around you and just lay back and chill not worry around you people find that very sexy about you too mm -hmm. if you have a nose piercing people find that very attractive about you your nose piercing or if you have like a dimple piercing somewhere um what's that piercing that you will have above your lip right in the middle of your lip underneath your nose it's like uh i'm gonna it's like it'd be like right here <laughs> what piercing is that i don't know i'm seeing some i'm seeing someone with that piercing and people find that someone find that attractive about you okay you can be very book smart or street smart i just heard people find that very attractive but some about your piercings, you may have like more than three piercings here. Someone has like more than three piercings or more than two piercings. And they, they, people find that very attractive about you, very sexy about you. Oh my God. Um, someone might have a piercing below their belt. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try to make this as clean as I can. I'm not, I'm not trying to make this a, a dirty video, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have instinct. You can be very psychic, okay? Strong psychic abilities. You can have strong intuitive um, notions or, or some sort. And then you're like a natural leader. So you tend to be guided by your intuition. You let your intuition, your gut instincts um, guide you in, in life, okay? You tend to like, well, I feel like I need to do this or I feel guided to do this. You might you might say that a lot or people can also be kind of amazed on how you be like accurate, like how accurate you are. You might actually be like a tarot reader, a psychic, a medium. It's your psychic ability that people will find like really sexy. Or you might you might be like someone who is really intuitive. Like, how can I say this? Like, you could be really in tune with your partner. You could be in tune with your partner in the bedroom. Like, you just know what to do. You just know how to please your partner without them having having to, without them happening to say anything to you, without them having to tell you what pleases them. You just automatically, intuitively, psychically know what pleases them, what turns them on, what makes them, you know. <laughs> Moan, I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. You know what spot to lick. You know what spot to touch without them happening to tell you where to touch, where to lick. You just know. Okay. I heard the best partner I've ever had. So you tend to be the best partner that people ever had in, in the bedroom and people might go back and tell their friends about it and people just like really want to get with you as well and kind of have that experience 
Yeah, skill. You have bedroom skills, okay? You know how to hop on that thing. If you know what I mean, okay? <laughs> you know how to um grind on me. <laughs> you then you know how to grind. Then you know what I mean, okay? All right, so and I think we just have a lot of skill sets. It don't got to be like you know, pleasing your partner type of skills, but just skills in life. You might be into like uh, DIYs, doing it on your own. Uh, people find you very crafty, okay? And um, look at that. Look, at, look, 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 playing an instrument. Yes, like I said, someone has mu musical abilities here, okay? Also, you have this body, this body positivity about you, body positivity. Like, you might not have much of an ass or much of titties, but you still walk around like you sexy as fuck, as you should. And people like, damn, that's, that's fine as hell, you know what I'm saying? Or like, you could... You could have an amputation of some sort. You could have missing teeth of some sort. Um... You might have a scar on your face. You might have maybe one eye or something. But it's like you love yourself so much and you still kind of have, you still have this confidence that you are sexy regardless of any body um, alterations that you have. Okay? Now, even with, with missing teeth, they're like, damn, she fine. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, it's your personality, like, overshadows any body imperfections that you have and you wear you wear your body imperfections your flaws really well in a very sexy way okay even though you don't meet the modern standards of beauty people still find you beautiful okay if that makes any sense Fuck modern standards of beauty anyway, goddamn. Everyone's beauty to me, you know, like if you have a if you have a beautiful personality, you're you're automatically beautiful to me. You know, like if you have a if you have a fucked up personality, then you're ugly to me. That's that's how I dictate beauty. <laughs> that's how I dictate what's beauty and what's ugly. It's, it's the personality, but yeah, anyway. Enough of my tangent. Let's continue on. Let's continue on, okay, with um, what makes you sexy. sexy. Okay, too much cards, too much cards. Okay. Now let your mind take your time on me. Yeah, a lot of y'all could be psychic here for sure. Like, yeah. <laughs> I heard some people dream about you in their sleep, okay? You might be in people's wet dreams if you know what I mean. Okay, I'll take them. I'll take them all. Yeah, respect, Queen Latifah. Mm-hmm. I heard people tend to, like, you have this type of personality that people can not help but treat you like a queen because you love yourself. Mystery. You have a very mysterious personality. Like, people might not know your story. People might not know where you come from. People might not know your childhood. So people want to know what's your story, pal, to you. So people tend to be very intrigued by you and they want to get to know you more. You might have people, you might find out that people tend to ask a lot about you. Like, who is she? Who's that girl? Na 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 She's that girl. Na 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 Okay, Eva Eve. I think Eva Eve is actually in this deck. Um, but anyway, uh... <laughs> You yeah, have mystery. Yeah, people people love like your mysterious energy for sure. You don't tell all. You you just 
you keep a lot to yourself how to but for some reason people find that very intriguing and sexy okay we have power yeah some of y'all could have came from power one for sure like your aura is very positive like when you leave the room your energy stays with people you know what i mean like people tend to think a lot about you as you you know part ways from them not like permanently part ways but like if you if you you tend to make memorable nights memorable days with people you're fun to hang around with and you just know how to make people remember you okay like if people had a reunion like let's say you had a reunion maybe 10 years down the line. People are like, I remember when Pal 2 and I, we did this and that. We had so much fun. You know, you, you, you create amazing memories with other people, okay? And it just stays with them for a long time. I don't know how I got that from this card, Power, but that's what I got. <laughs> so it's like, even though you might have walked out of people's lives, maybe you guys parted ways, people still to this day, people still find you sexy. People still find you just so powerful and so attractive. Even though you broke up with your ex 10 years ago, five years ago, two years ago, whatever, they still find you sexy as hell. And they would do anything to get in those. Um, <laughs> they would do anything to have, you know, X E X with you again. Okay. Um, we have fight. Yeah. I think people will fight to get to you. People will fight for you. People. Like, you're so sexy that people will fight for your attention, okay? I don't know why, but I'm seeing, like, a woman at a club. And I'm seeing guys, like, literally fighting their way through the, through the crowd to get to you, okay? <laughs> yeah, people push themselves through the crowd to get to you and, like, hey, what's your number, okay? <laughs> All right, so, pal, too, thank you guys so much for being here. And, again, click the subscribe button, join the family, support your girl. I'm always, I'm, listen, I'm so close to a 1,000 all you gotta do is click the the subscribe button, and you're gonna help me out with that with that a thousand, okay? And then comment below what you think. All right, like the video as well. I see you guys later. Bye. Pal three, what makes you sexy? I don't know, pal three. I kind of want to switch it up on y'all. Don't tell the other pals, but I want to. <laughs> I want to use a different deck. But as I'm preparing this deck right here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Support me because, girl, y'all, I'm so close to a thousand subscribers. All you gotta do is click that subscribe button. Comment below what you think and also like the video as well. Give me some suggestions on what topic I should do next as well, okay? But let's get into it. What makes Pal 3 sexy as fuck? I heard when you bend over. <laughs> when you bend over, that booty goes, I don't know. It, it does something. Okay, you might have a jiggly booty, okay? When you walk, it jiggles, all right? <laughs> You have a jiggly booty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You might have people's eyes really fixated on your butts. Okay? When you walk around the store, when you walk around the mall, when you walk around whatever, child, your booty, okay, grabs a lot of people's attention. Okay? <laughs> I find that so funny. I don't know why. All right. So what makes a uh, pal three so sexy? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know why, but I heard it's the way you say, it's the way you say thank you <laughs> and please. I don't know why I heard that, but yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, this might sound a little bit interesting, but what I'm getting here is your patience. It's your patience um, that makes you very sexy. You tend to wait for them. Okay, you might have like either a long distance connection here, a long distance relationship. It's the fact that you wait for them. Okay, like you put in your day in life, your love life on pause until they come home. Like you're not dating anybody else. You're not talking to anyone else. You're staying faithful and loyal to them. Okay, that's for somebody out there. <laughs>
That makes Palfrey sexy. Ah, uh, you're, you're such a great mother. Okay, you have these nurturing um, characteristics, characteristics about you. If you're not a mother, you still have like a mother, motherly um, nurturing aura, characteristic personality about you, basically. Um, you're, <laughs> you are very, uh, PG-13 in a day, but you're very, uh, XXX at night. You're very freaky at night. Um, you tend to switch it up on people, and that's probably why I felt <laughs> got it to switch it up on you guys and, and use a whole different deck. Um, and you kind of like an alien, not in a bad way, but it's like you're not even human. Like, you're just fucking different. Like, just in a good way, you know what I mean? You may have an accent that people are not used to. You might come from a country or a place that maybe no one has ever heard about. It's something about you that, like, huh, I never heard of that before. Power 3, can you tell me more about your culture? Power 3, can you tell me more about your language where you kind of come from? Because I never really heard of that place or that thing or that food. Like, it's something about you that's just so different. But I don't know why, but I'm getting... Some of y'all are, like, already in committed relationships or about to be in committed relationships, Okay. Or you just tend to have a personality where it's like you are cuffable. I don't know why I said that, cuffable. Like you are the type to be cuffed into a relationship. You're the type that they can tell, they, they, you're, the, you're the type that they can take home to mom. And I don't know what, I mean, that's not how I usually talk, but okay. <laughs> um, That's what I'm hearing. You're the type that they can take home to mama. Okay, you're the type that they can wife, that they can put a ring on. You're the type that you can be basically made into a to someone's husband. Okay, like you are the type that can be in long term relationships, and that makes you sexy. Like you don't cheat. You don't cheat. You don't. You're very loyal. And even if you're single, if taken men or taken women try to cheat with you, you're like, no, I'm not having that. I'm not with that. And those people cannot help but respect, like, respect that. Like, dang, like, Pal 3 respects themselves so much. I can't get mad for them saying no. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, You're not really into, like, third-party relationships. You're not into that side piece stuff. That's that's not what you're into, okay? You're not about that. Or when people get to, when people get with you, pal three, when people get with, get with you, pal three, people don't care about their side pieces no more. You could have, you know, had, you know, date with many people, but when they meet you, they want to drop all the other options, okay? <laughs> you tend to be the main option, the main one, okay? Queen of Cups, yeah. People, for some reason, they can't help but to be emotionally vulnerable with you and open up to you and just, just want to be with you. Like, <laughs> you might have people, I don't know why, but people tend to, I don't know why I'm seeing people crying. Why am I seeing people crying? Hmm. Well, it makes you sexy is maybe because you're emotionally vulnerable. Like you, you open up your emotions, your feelings. You don't. Oh, okay. You're very expressive. Like you express yourself easily and freely. Like you're not afraid to tell someone that you love them. You're not afraid to tell someone like, hey, I think you're cute. You're not afraid to say that. And that makes you really, really sexy because you just how open you are and how free you are. You don't hold back. You just beat yourself. Oop. I want to get this card. One, two, three. I don't know why I want to do that. Okay. Do that. I don't know why I'm getting these. I don't know why I'm picking and choosing cards, but I don't usually do that. But I feel guided to, to do that, so. 
Yeah, people, people, you might attract people with many options because they find as hell, sexy as hell. But when they meet you, they don't care about their other, their other options. <laughs> yeah. You have the hermit card. Yeah, you're very expressive because the hermit and the upright, they basically hide away from the world. Hermits, they keep themselves away from the world. So it's like you are a very relatable person, pal um, three. And a very giving person, okay? You give freely without expecting much in return, okay? Or respecting... Or even, you don't even expect anything at all in return. You just give. You just love. You just love so freely. Love so openly. Okay? You just have such a big heart, pal three. And that's what makes you very sexy. Because um, you might have to be careful about this, pal three. But you might attract people who are lost, afraid, broken, scared, miserable, depressed, lonely, super anxious because they, they seek you for comfort because you provide so much comfort and love and respect. And you just, people attract to you like um, a, moth, a moth to a flame type of thing, okay? So be careful because you can't save everyone and everybody, pal three, just saying, okay? You're just like, people can come to you for rest. Okay, for rest. And um, that's just so attractive and sexy, okay? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, this is so romantic, pal. I think you have a very romantic pal here. I don't know. I feel like some of y'all are already dating or in a relationship or seeing someone constantly. Or you guys are about to. Because, like, what I'm getting here... Someone has the privilege to watch you sleep at night. And they they love to watch you sleep. Okay, pal three. Um, if you have not met this person yet, uh, this person that you're gonna meet, they love to watch you sleep. Okay. <laughs> Even when you snore a bit, they think it's cute. Oh, <laughs> this is so romantic. Okay, this is cute. I like this. We have the ace of wands. You stay in people's mind for a long time, okay? Like, people get really excited when they see your text pop up on their phone, okay? Uh, you, might have, you might have people that um even have a special ringtone for you, or you might do this for people, right? You may have a special ringtone for them, or you might give them, like, nicknames or pet names, okay? This is a very romantic pal. Um, pal three, you might actually, unfortunately, attract people who are taken. Yeah. You got people want to be with you instead of who they currently with. Just saying. And it, and it don't matter if the person's good for them or not. It's just, it's just when they see you, they want to try you for a moment in time. Just to see what it's like. To be with someone like you. You're someone that people will want you to be by their side in life. Okay? Uh, we have the judgment in reverse. People find you very sexy because you're non-judgmental. You let people be free and be expressive. People can be themselves around you. And that what makes you sexy. Mm-hmm. People don't have to worry about judgment. People don't have to worry about you talking negative about them. You just let them be. You just let them be. Be free. <laughs> Makes pile three sexy. You might be.
be single for a long time or may have been single for many years. And people wonder why you're single, Pile 3. And they're wondering if they can change that for you. Like, can they step in and be your partner? Okay? So what makes you sexy is actually your solitude. <laughs> Your solitude and like your singleness, your single, you being single makes you sexy because people are like, huh, let me change that. Let me change Power Three's relationship status from single to in a relationship. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And you don't, you don't, you're not the type of person that just gets into relationships. Nah. You can be very picky. Uh huh. It's kind of like your pickiness. That makes you very sexy because it's like when you choose to hang out with somebody, it's because you really want to. And they really check out all the boxes, you know? And people get excited, like, dang, like, pal, three barely hangs out with anyone or barely says yes to a date. Like, damn, I must be special. Okay? <laughs> it's how you make people feel so special and so welcome and so loved. Okay? That's what makes you sexy. That's what makes people kind of drive crazy. Like, people can be crazily in love with you. They can they can almost become addicted to you, okay? So just be careful um, about that. People that might become uh, obsessive with you, okay? Um, We have Ace of Cups. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, you got so much love in your heart, man. Ace of Cups. It's how you love. Like, that just makes you so sexy. You make people weak. You make people, like, I do anything for Pile 3. <laughs> and you might come across very strong characters in your life. But you, you know how to soften those strong characters up. You know how to make them, like, even people who, who are not really vulnerable at all like when they talk to you all of a sudden they're just spilling all the tea about their life and what hurt them what what is on their mind what, what stresses them out you just make people open up to you and it's just like wow like i can't believe palpy got me like this like wow <laughs> you know <laughs> almost like hypnotized okay you can hypnotize people you're hypnotic mm-hmm how your dancing can be hypnotic. How you dance can be hypnotic. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Knight of Cups. I'm telling you, Pal 3, if you're single, that might change soon for, for some of y'all. For Yeah, for some of y'all, that's going to change soon. Your single status is going to change Cause I really think you're going to like this person. I think you are. For real. <laughs> I wish I could stay here in this reading. But I gotta go guys. But I want to you know pull a little bit more. Because it kind of got interesting here. Because energy, the energy just kind of shifts. Because I'm starting to feel like this, this relationship. That I, and I, I'm curious. Maybe I should do another topic about your next relationship. I think I have. Y'all might need y'all might need to check out uh a previous video that I did, a pick a card. It's like your next relationship. Y'all might need to check that out. Okay, pile three. Also, it's your work ethic. Your work ethic. And people think you're like a hidden gem. Okay? When, when people find you, they're so glad they fucking find you. You understand? Hey, like, people are like, God damn, like, where has Pal 3 been in all my life? Like, you could have been in the city forever. And, like, people are just starting to, okay, you could be also emerging out into the world. Like, people are starting to actually start starting to know you, okay? Like, you could have been working behind the scenes and people are starting to notice your work. So, at the time, of, okay, Pal 3, if, if this fits you, this description like if you feel like you're just emerging out into the world and people are starting to notice you more um there's gonna be someone that that really is um attracted to you and want to get to know you in a on a romantic level okay as you start to become more known into the world this could be you being famous this could be like 
becoming maybe a local celebrity, a statewide celebrity, a national-wide celebrity, a global celebrity. I don't know. But you could be someone who was hidden for a long time, Pile 3. Like, you just, like, hide yourself or just didn't care to be around people. But now you could be starting to emerge into the scene. You're becoming more of a social butterfly, okay? You're starting to um, allow people into your world, okay? You could have been through a lot of years of healing yourself. And now you feel ready for the world. And you feel ready to take what is yours in this world. Take a stance in this world and really serve your purpose. And I feel like your purpose, what's in your destiny, is to be known by many people. Because it's so much your love. It's like medicine to people, okay? It's healing. And I really feel like there's going to be someone along the way in your life, Pound 3, that just finds you so... Like, I can't... I cannot let Pound 3 pass me by. I have to get to know Pound 3. I have to date them. I have to love them because I think Pound 3 could be the one. Like, you got... Listen, I really feel like someone's going to feel that way about you, Pound 3. I don't know who I'm talking to, but if you've been single for a long time, if you've been kind of not in the dating scene for many years... It's going to be someone that just finds you like, damn, Pal 3, like, where have you been? You know, I wish I could have met you years ago. Well, Pal 3 years ago was healing. So they can be the best person by the time this person comes across Pal 3. If that makes sense. Like, it, it, like, if this person met you years ago, you would not be ready for them. And they possibly would not be ready for you. So it took all those years of healing. Okay, behind the scenes, working on yourself behind the scenes for you to be that that person that you're meant to be for them. It might took them years for them to be the person that they're meant to be for you, pal three. So yeah, that's all I want to know. Okay, and I think both of you guys want to make a lot of money together, or there's a lot of uh, financial abundance coming your way, pal three, because your energy is just wow. I think like literally, pal three, you could be like a star seed or one with the universe. Okay, did I say that you was an alien? <laughs> pal three in the beginning yeah well pal three i'm kind of overdue on your reading um don't tell the other pals that i'm like give you like four extra minutes <laughs> um but yeah i'm so close to a thousand subscribers y'all so go ahead and click that subscribe button support your girl comment what you think below and like the video and i love you guys see you guys later bye